Hey, this is Ryan from RyeRob.com, and in this video, I want to walk you through quickly how I like to make my own custom WordPress table of contents menus. This is primarily done in my posts, in my blog posts, and these are very, very simple. We're going to just do them with a simple HTML tag, nothing complicated. You don't have to download WordPress plugins or make CSS edits to your theme. This is so easy. And I really want to reinforce the importance of doing this if you're like me at all and you create sometimes excessively long content, then creating these table of contents that are clickable, they're hyperlinked, they're easy for your readers to click on and jump down to the section that's most relevant to them, that's gonna be extremely helpful. And at the same time, this is also gonna help significantly in boosting your SEO ranking abilities. I see a direct correlation between the posts on my site that I have these hyperlinked WordPress table of contents and their increased rankings over time. There's even old posts that I'll update and add one of these table of contents to, and I can immediately see those tables of contents start to make their way up to the top. And ultimately the goal is that you can swoop them into a featured snippet, um, especially if your post is a linear step-by-step -step tutorial to doing something or a listicle 10 best XYZ in your niche. That's the kind of stuff that Google loves to sweep in this really clean, clear, structured information directly into those snippets. So hopefully I've sold you on the why. Let's dig into the how. First up, we're going to create these hyperlink table of contents in Classic Editor. I still like using the Classic Editor on some of my blogs, um, but Gutenberg gradually becoming better and better, right? But still a lot of people use the Classic Editor. So let's do that first. First things first, I like to always create my H2 header here. Um, this is what I'm hoping to begin the section that gets swooped up into a featured snippet. And I'll just add for the sake of simplicity, one, two, this is just a ordered list, three, and then that's it. Content begins here, content continues here. So this right here, the one, two, three in the ordered list, this is what I want to create my uh, WordPress menu out of the table of contents. So to show you how I like to do that, let's switch over to the text editor. You can see within step number one here, this is the list item one. And we're going to just add a href equals pound step dash one. And the quote and the tag. And then on the other side of the word one here, we want to close that HTML tag. Now, this will be hyperlinked down to a corresponding tag within my post that we'll have to add next. Let me just show you doing a second one. Step dash two. Now you can name these um, anchor tags anything that you want. However, I like to give them SEO friendly names um, oops, we missed the hash here. Always include the hash. So let's switch back to the visual mode, show you what it looks like. There you go. You can see these are hyperlinked. Step one, step two. Now let's go ahead and add step one and step two here in the article. So heading three, one, Step one, content, add my step two, step two, content. Now we need to create the anchor that this clickable link here is going to send the reader down to when they click on it. So we'll go here, we'll highlight this, switch over to text mode, and we'll create the corresponding tag right here after your uh, header tag or paragraph tag, whatever tag you're using for this um, content right here. Right after it, let's add a name equals step one. And close that. And right here, we close it right away. We just want this to serve as an anchor point that sends the click down in the post. You don't need to and close the entire header within that anchor. It just needs to exist right here. And again, you'll notice there is no pound 
or hash here. Um, it doesn't need it. So that's what our corresponding anchor tag will look like. Now let's add another one. Step two here. Step two. And we'll close that tag as well. Switch back over to our visual editor. And you can see here's the little anchor symbol. This is where the anchor has been added. This is where the anchor has been added right at the beginning of these steps. And when you click here, it'll jump you down there. Click here, it'll jump you down to the step two anchor. Let's go ahead and preview that, see what it looks like. So this is a preview of the post we were just making our anchor tags in. And you can see right here, here's the H2. Here's our ordered list. And you can see when you hover over um, these link tags we just added, the one, you can see in the bottom left hand corner here, you can see um, it adds the hash step dash one to the URL, to the end of the URL for the blog post. And when we click on that, we jump down to where that corresponding anchor exists. And I'll show you the step two. There we go. Now let's make our WordPress table of contents in the Gutenberg editor, where it's way easier and faster. Now this here is on my hiking blog. Um, where you'll see I'm working on a post right now breaking down a recent hike I did, Half Dome in Yosemite. So to form the basis of our table of contents, let's just add an ordered list. Switch over to make it ordered. And for sake of simplicity, let's just do one, two, three again. So that's the end of this block here. And in Gutenberg, this is how easy it is. You just add a link. Do a hash step dash one. And then it automatically recognizes it's an internal link. You can just hit enter. Hash step dash two. There's nothing wrong with adding in your um, HTML hyperlink anchor tag um, the old way too. Just by writing in the HTML code, you just go to options, edit as HTML. And you can do that right here too. But you see it adds the exact same manual code um, by doing it in a visual way. Now let's click down and create our corresponding tags that these will link you to. Now this is where the block capabilities for Gutenberg really steps in and makes things super easy. So to create this corresponding name tag, you want to just highlight the uh, header element or whatever text element you're going to be hyperlinking and then come over here to block settings, click on block settings, and then down here under advanced, you'll click the advanced drop down menu. There's already a place to add HTML anchors. So you'll just type in the exact text that matches your corresponding hyperlinked portion up in the table of contents. And there you go. It's that simple. Scroll down here. Let's add this now for step two as well. Step dash two, there we are. That's how easy it is. Let's preview, make sure this works. Click on one, jumps down to one. Click on two, jumps down to two. And one of the things I like most about this type of HTML anchor linking for creating table contents is that it's so SEO friendly. It adds this to your URL string. So that's more rich information for Google and other search engines out there to just snap it on up. So there we go. I hope that's really clear and simple for you. If you have any questions, please ask below in the comments. I'm always here. Happy blogging.